Gary, I think that can really only be described as a bit of a sickener. Yeah, it's uh, a kick in the you know what. Um, got it for the boys. I'm absolutely devastated the work that they put in that game, the effort they put in it. Yes, Lintour a good chance in the first half, always pulled a good save off. Second half they've hit the post, but you know, you're expecting a team like Lintour, full time team, to come here and create chances, you know, for limit them to the two chances proper chances, you know, was, was, was good for us as a defensive unit. Thought we worked hard all over the pitch, you know, we also created a couple of wee chances ourselves. Uh, made paid a chance, you know, but again it wasn't to be, you know, it's a sickener. You know, and it just shows, sums our luck up, you know, two players go down, you know, the large play stopped and they were on the ball and and all of a sudden, you know, the ball's near our box and and the rule is that you have to move back five yards so, you know, it's, it's a hard rule because, you know, if somebody wants to in that situation, you take a touch on the other foot and hit, hit a shot. You know, it's so close to the goal, but unfortunately for us, you know, it was on the edge of our box and, you know, Terence went, he's uh, dumb as if he's going to cross it, he got the line, he's crossed it. You know, Roy, or Jay Donnelly's got the end of it, you know, and it's a sickener, it's a, it's a big sickener for us. But, you know, I'm proud of the boys today, I'm really proud of them, I'm devastated for them, you know. Um, we put so much into the game and come away with nothing, you know, but also this, this new rule is going to be tougher on the, on the part-time teams as well, you know, the minutes added on and stuff like that, you know, we've, we've ended up having seven, eight minutes there today, you know, in a normal normal season that would be three or four minutes and you maybe see the game out, but the new rules have come out and, and again that's only going to uh, benefit the full-time teams because they're fitter, you know, they're tuning every day and if, if games are going to go on, I think it was five minutes in the first half and, and, and you've got eight minutes in the second half, so it's not really a 90 minute game anymore, it's, you're over 100 minutes are today, so you know again that's going to benefit people that are fitter, which which is which is understandable and, uh, and quite obvious. But again, you know the boys are great today, and you know special mention and, and listen, every one of them right stand today. But I have to give a special mention to Tiernan Moana to come from the Middle Ulster League last year to come out and play against one of the best teams in the league today, and, and I thought he was outstanding from start to finish. And I believe he got the man of the match at the club, and but I think he was he was outstanding today from start to finish, and you know they had a good player in Bobby's Burns that plays in there. And, you know, Bobby was quiet today, which is not like him, you know, so that just shows you exactly how good Tiernan was. So, you know, I'm, I'm delighted with the performance of the players, you know, it's a lot, a lot of good performances that are there and, you know, a lot of pluses um, to take out of it as well as, as, as that slight negative at the end of it. Well, again, it's a lottery whenever he gets that line and fires a ball across, you know, it's unfortunately it's just fell down. The, you say the positives there, certainly the, the debuts that we had there, um, yeah. Quinn, I think we, we know what we're getting with him anyway, but uh, you say Mulvena coming in and Stephen Taggart looked quite good on the right as well, and obviously uh, Andy Mooney coming on a bit later. It's it's, it's good to, to see those guys coming on and actually yeah, doing it's good so to well. See all the new boys on and, and listen, they didn't do themselves, but again, it's only one match, you know. And as I say, we have to be consistent, have to keep them levels, you know, every match, you know, and that's when we'll be able to judge. We'll be able to judge in ten our ten matches or so if, if if they're going to be up to the level. But certainly on that show today, they've all come in and they've all fitted in nicely as I have done over pre-season. Um, but as I say it was positive all around. Defensively, I thought we were really good today. You know, really, really good. And midfield, I thought we won. We were really good in there. I probably won the battle in there. Um, and up front, boys worked hard. You know, you're not going to get many chances against the top ten torn side, but we created a couple, and it wasn't to be. Um, Rod swung over one from a set piece, and AP had one in the second half when he got through. You know, and another one that baffled me for was was the one when Mooney got inside their defender, and he gives a free kick. So he's the last man. He's in for a shot and goal. And, the rules that I was always taught that you know, if you're in for a shot and goal, there's no other defender, which there wasn't. You know, for me, that's a red card. You know, but again, he didn't even get a yellow card for that. So, but listen, we're not picking. Um, as I say, I'm just um, I'm, I'm pleased with the performance. I'm happy, happy with the, the, the commitment, the effort the boys give. But you know, more, more, more importantly, I'm gutted for them. I'm gutted for the, 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 the got nothing from that. Looking forward to the next week. First away game of the season against Cliftonville. They always had a. A week off this week um, for various things. There's been various things said about that. Um, what's your thoughts going into that game? Yep, the rules of, listen, there's no easy game in this league. The top six sides are even more difficult, um, and unless you're at like what we are today, you don't stand any chance of getting results. So we need to be same same levels as we were today, and then if we do that, then we, we have a chance of, of getting something. But we need to be at that level because if we're not, the, the top six sides are or miles in front of the rest of us in the minute and, and have the league table showed that last year so for the, for, for the standard chance of getting results we need to be at the levels we're at today same attitude, same desire, same hunger and, and if we get that then then who knows hopefully we get a bit of the rub of the green next week and, and maybe come out with the result the other side
during the week or uh, over pre-season, um, Oren Smith has been um, turned out a few times. We signed him this week. Um, what's your your take on that one? Then? Yeah, well, Oren's a, a good young player, and, and you know he's coming over pre-season. He's worked hard. You know, we've, we've, we've signed him on a two-year deal, but in principle, we're going to loan him out. You know, because um, we've got a lot of midfielders in there, but he's somebody I think got a lot of potential and, and, and long term could be a player at this football club. We need to go out and loan and, and, and learn his trade again and get regular football. So that's our plan to do him and then we'll reassess it in January and you know if it's, it's not ready then then we'll reassess it at the end of the season. But he's somebody that over pre season impressed us and you know we've we've decided to give a two year deal and, and loan him out and then take it from there and, and hopefully next pre season at the very least he's coming back and, and making a stake for a claim on the team. Brilliant. Any other transfer news that we should be aware of this stage? Just as always, just looking everywhere as we always are, but um, it's, it's, it's a tough market. It's a really tough market. And I've been speaking to David Healy there, looking for strikers. You know, I think we're all looking for strikers. And as I said, the, the chairman the other day, if Linfield Football Club are out in the market looking for strikers, what, what hope have the rest of us got? You know, with the finances that they can, they can offer players. You know, so again, we'll, we'll keep plugging away and we'll see if anything comes about. But you know, on that performance today, I'm, I'm, I'm happy in the squad so far. And, Listen, if you can always add, you'd love to add, but certainly the boys you know, today look good and, and, and hopefully they can, they can, they can push on and, and have a good season.